InfoBlock's Active Trust Cloud protects users everywhere from cyber attacks like DNS-based data exfiltration and malware. It protects devices of roaming users like sales personnel or consultants and remote offices, in addition to protecting users in headquarters. Now let's see how easy it is to configure Active Trust Cloud and start protecting your users immediately. To configure Active Trust Cloud, you log into Infoblox Cloud Services Portal. The first step is to define the remote offices or networks that you want to protect with Active Trust Cloud by going into Manage Networks. Add a network by entering a name and the IP address ranges associated with this remote site. You can save the information and the network is now defined. You can repeat these steps for each of your remote offices. To protect your traveling or roaming users, regardless of where they are connecting to the Internet, each user will need to install the Active Trust Endpoint Agent. You also need to configure Active Trust Cloud for these users in the portal. You can add users individually or add an email domain, which will allow the end users to self-register using their email address. So the system will automatically accept users with the roaming client from the specific domain. Subscription to Active Trust Cloud includes a comprehensive list of intelligence feeds that protect from a wide variety of APTs, bots, and compromised domains. In addition to these feeds, you can create custom lists of domain names that can be used as either whitelists or blacklists in a security policy. For example, to block remote offices from accessing, say, example.com, you can create a custom list and add the domain name to block. Keep in mind that this is just a list and it hasn't been applied to any security policies yet. Next, you can create security policies by going to Manage Security Policies. A security policy is a set of rules and actions that is applied to one or more networks. Active Trust Cloud has several predefined threat intelligence feeds that are verified and curated. You can also create custom rules to include the custom list that was created in the previous step. Now let's create a custom security policy. After entering a name and a description, select the remote network to apply the new custom rule. Add a new custom rule and select the new custom list that was just created in the step before. The actions that can be taken for each policy are redirect, block, and allow. The block action will ensure that users that try to get to these sites are blocked. Now, when a user in the remote site tries to go to example.com, he is automatically blocked. Active Trust Cloud Dashboard shows important information about detected security issues and reports provide deep visibility into infected clients. You can drill down into any report to get more details and apply filters. The security report shows all the malicious queries blocked for each client running the endpoint agent with drill down information. Active Trust Cloud automatically detects DNS tunneling and data exfiltration using unique behavioral analytics, and the DNS tunneling report will show information regarding any local DNS tunnels and attacks. Infoblox Active Trust Cloud thus protects users wherever they may be on or off the premises against DNS-based data exfiltration and malware communications using high-quality threat intelligence feeds and unique behavioral analytics. <laughs>